all right friend in this question we are actually testing you on the application of differential equation so we are testing you on two fronts how you can frame a differential equation and how you can solve it right now in the given question it is stated that there is a freezing happening on a lake and there is an increase in the height or thickness of the ice formed on the lake with respect to time and that the increase in the height with respect to time is inversely proportional to the thickness of the ice at that instant of time. So first question was form the differential equation which states this same physical condition. So this physical condition can mathematically be stated as dh by dt proportionality sign 1 by h. Right? Why 1 by h? Because it is inversely proportional to the thickness of the ice at that instant. Right? Now please note, here this proportionality sign will be accompanied with a plus over here. The reason of plus is because there is an increment in the height. Had there been a decrement in the height or the decrement in the thickness of the ice, we would have written a minus over here. So be, please be very very careful about when you are framing the differential equation, what should be the sign that should be accompanied over here. Now, removing this proportionality, I can actually put a proportionality constant and write it as lambda by h so dh by dt equal to lambda by h so i have got rid of this proportionality symbol where lambda is a proportionality constant lambda is a proportionality constant and this must be positive so lambda must be positive right this is to maintain that there is an increment in the height okay so the required differential equation that was supposed to be formed for this question is actually this okay so we have now formed the differential equation which connects the thickness of the ice at a given instant of time as dh by dt is equal to lambda by h where i had mentioned that lambda is a positive quantity okay now in order to solve this differential equation, I will be using the variable separable method. That means I will be grouping my h along with dh at one side and the dt on the other side of the equation. So I can bring this h on this side and it becomes h dh and I can bring this dt on this side which is lambda dt. Please ensure that while you are grouping the terms, dh and dt terms should always be in the numerator. Under no circumstance, dh and dt should be in the denominator. Now, having, having separated the variables in the two categories, under two groupings, I can now initiate the process of integration. So, I'll integrate both sides. The integration of h with respect to dh simply becomes h square by 2, whereas lambda dt, lambda is a constant, so integration of dt is simply t, so it becomes lambda times t, and I have to put a constant of integration, c, let's call it c. Now how do I get the value of lambda and c in this case, right? It's very simple, even though it is not stated in the question, it is very evident that when time was zero, when time was zero, the thickness of the ice or the height of the ice was actually zero. Right? So there was no formation of the ice when the time is initially started or when t was 0. We can use this initial value condition which is also called boundary conditions at some places. So we can call this, we can use this initial value condition to find the value of c. So when you put h as 0 and t as 0, you would realize that left side becomes 0, lambda t becomes 0 plus c right which makes it very evident that c is equal to 0 so we can rephrase this equation by dropping off my c because it is clear that now c is 0 so we can write this as h square by 2 equal to lambda t or in other words h is equal to under root of 2 lambda t right and it is very evident looking at this expression that the height of the ice or the thickness of the ice varies as the square root of the time so this solves the second part of your question all right friends so now solving the third part of the question where we have been asked to find out 
the time at which the thickness of the ice will be double of what it was at 4 pm right so at 4 pm the thickness of the ice was 3 mm right and please note this 4 pm corresponded to t equal to 1 because by the time it was 4 pm one hour of freezing already had occurred so we'll have to find the t when the height of the or the thickness of the ice becomes 6 mm correct so we already know a relation connecting height and time which is h equal to under root of 2 lambda t please note here the lambda still occurs in this equation which is the proportionality constant so we need to find the value of lambda before we start solving this problem now how do we do that it's simple you already have been mentioned this condition that when t equal to 1 the thickness of the ice is 3 mm so i'll be using this condition in order to get my lambda so I will use the fact that height when it is 3 or the thickness when it is 3 mm the time at that instant was t equal to 1 so this helps me to find the value of lambda which is nothing but 9 by 2 right so your lambda which is the proportionality constant has now been found out to be 9 by 2 so I will rephrase this equation now by putting the value of lambda so when I put the value of lambda as 9 by 2 my equation becomes under root of 90 okay now coming to the requirement of the question the question was asking us at what time at what time will the height become 6 mm or the thickness becomes 6 mm so I will simply substitute h as 6 and t is something which is not known to me i am finding out t so 6 becomes under root of 90 squaring both the sides it gives me 36 equal to 90 which gives me t as 4 now please remember t equal to 4 means after 4 hours since the beginning that means at t equal to 0 you count 4 hours from there after that the thickness of the ice is going to become 6 mm right please note at t equal to 0 the time was 3 pm right and the question asks you what is the time at which the thickness will be 6 mm so you have to add this 4 to this 3 pm which makes the time as 7 pm so exactly at 7 pm you realize that the thickness of the ice will be 6 mm thank you so much for watching